Alita kicking off. Brian and Dean back to receive. And it'll be brought the goal line getting together on that sack of Pete Jimenez. Bring up a fourth down and a lot of yards to go. This week in East Brunswick, Channel 8 covered the local football action. The traditional homecoming celebration at the high school was highlighted by the Bears' 46 to nothing victory over the Perth Amboy Panthers. On Sunday, local Pop Warner stars participated in the Mayor's Trophy game. We will also present coverage of this week's Town Council and Septic System Management meetings. Here are selected shorts from the homecoming festivities, the players, coaches, and halftime entertainment. And now we have our sophomore queen attendant, Maria Casanelli. And here comes the junior queen attendant, Hope Hutter. And our homecoming queen, Lisa Schroeder. Homecoming king, Paul Flanagan. Paul, by the way, is number 47 on the football team and is in the locker room with the team. How about another hand for the queen in attendance? Ladies and gentlemen, the Tangerine Bowl bound East Brunswick High School marching band.
Shea Doyle Memorial Field was the scene of Sunday's Mayor's Trophy Games. Complete coverage of all three games will be shown on Channel 8 this Saturday from 1 to 6 p.m. Here's a sampling of the day's action. Once again, all three games will be shown on Channel 8 this Saturday, October 24th at 1 p.m. At Monday night's council agenda meeting, the main topic of discussion was the Lawrence Brook Route 18 bridge proposal. Town officials opposed the State Transportation Department's resurfacing plans, preferring a more comprehensive plan of action. So that we can handle that traffic. I mean, they're just not going to reroute. Like temporary basis. They're not, they're not going to just reroute traffic on Burnett Street. They're going to reconstruct Burnett Street handle the to handle the temporary traffic. And then they're going to go away. They'll probably have to tear a lot of it up. So you'll have to see anticipated improvements to Burnett Street. That at one time was, we were told it was about 600000 right. just so for that. Half the cost of the project. And, and, and so, as I understand it, the, then the cost to the bridge alone is... Switch traffic onto the new deck and route, take this side out and rebuild it. That's the reason for bringing two lanes of traffic over here. Um, Route 18 cannot function without four moving lanes. They can't, uh, as a matter of fact, it doesn't function too well with four lanes as it is. Yeah, we're going to be used for... When the bridge, uh, when both sides of the bridge are being refurbished, or only one side? Right, there's some citizens from the uh, <coughs> Lawrence Park area here. Uh, please give me your name and address and ask your questions. Uh, I'm Ann Janaris, and I'm 39 Western Mills Road. I'm very touched by your awareness of the psychological impact of having traffic come at you. If this plan goes through, I and four of my six children who live on that block will daily be confronted with the psychological impact of oncoming traffic. Therefore, I urge you, please reconsider what you're talking about as the best possible, or, or the thing to look at. You're talking traffic will be you plan it again. Right. The traffic will be coming, if, if you live down on this end of Burnett Street, uh, West, it's Weston's Mill, the wrong side of the road, the traffic now will be coming here, not this way. We've moved the jug handle basically up close. Yeah, that, that's what we're proposing to the state. 
Um, but then I'd agree I moved the jug handle. The, the DOP hasn't moved it yet. Four, six, and then three jug handles. So it doesn't mistake. fall down. Yeah. I'm all for it. But Dang please it. get down here and fix that further down the highway. Do something down there. And then the see what happens. Here fix that door. first. Several improvements to make it flow well. It's going to take the over Turnpike Route 18 intersection. It's going to take the Tice's Lane. West Ferris Street, 18 intersection, uh, being improved, the grade crossings being eliminated. They're not all going to be done at one time. And if the state is ready to do one here, we should take this one, and then we'll, we'll get the others yeah, as we can. On October 20, 1981, the East Brunswick Septic System Management Area Planning Commission and Citizens Advisory Committee held a public meeting to discuss alter alternative methods of wastewater disposal for the unsewered areas of the township. Over 130 residents attended the meeting at the Warnsdorfer School. Mr. Clifford Gold, engineering consultant to the Planning Commission presented information on alternative waste disposal systems which included on-site and cluster septic systems, conventional sewers, pressure and vacuum sewers, and septic tank effluent pumping. Twelve alternative approaches were given detailed review and compared for cost effectiveness and environmental and secondary impacts. Mr. Gold estimated that homeowners in this area would spend an average of $175 per year over the next 20 years for maintenance and repair of their septic systems. In comparison, public management of septic systems would cost homeowners between $211 and $221 per year. Costs for conventional and pressure sewer systems would range from $163 to $467 in addition to initial charges ranging from $1,395 to $2,920. Conventional sewer systems would present the greatest pressures for development of the area, but would not effectively remove the threat of septic pollution. Properly maintained septic systems would provide safe disposal of wastewater and would not tend to induce future development. Mr. Gold has expressed concern that not all septic system problems may be resolved on site. Residents attending the public meeting voiced a preference for on-site solutions, citing the high costs of conventional and pressure sewers and septic tank effluent pumping. Many residents were also concerned about the increased pressures for development which sewers would bring. The Septic System Management Area Planning Commission and Citizens Advisory Committee must consider these public concerns as they develop a waste disposal plan for the area which is both cost-effective and environmentally safe. No, decision, no decisions have been made yet. If you would like more information or wish to voice your opinion, please contact Wendy Wolf, One Civic Center, East Brunswick, or Diane Donnelly, 13 Lenicky Lane, East Brunswick. Meetings of the Septic System Management Area Planning Commission are held on the third Tuesday of each month at 7.30 in the East Brunswick Municipal Building. All meetings are open to the public. A third public hearing will be held following selection of a waste disposal plan. Notices will be mailed to all residents of the septic system management area.